We'll look to do something in the right back position to add to Aussie because he's the only one we've got. I think people have got to realise that the 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 financial fair play or the profit sustainability is over our head, and therefore. Um, what we can do and what we'd like to do are two completely different things. What we mustn't do is put this club in jeopardy of the situation it was in previously. And so therefore we have to become sustainable. So I, I don't want to dampen anyone's expectations, but they need to get behind the players we've got here now, because that might be the players they're supporting all season. So I can't make any guarantees on that. That's the feedback that that's the knowledge that I have of the situation that where QPR at the moment with the PNS over our head, and it's whether you think that's fair after the COVID situation and, the, and everything that's happened in football. Uh, there's other people that can comment on that more than me. But it's safe to say we'll look to do one, maybe one, and then we might have to do some outs to do another one. So it's not going to be uh, maybe what everybody's expecting. And, and they have to get behind the, the forwards that we've got in-house. Uh, what I would say is that where the squad's at at the minute, like financially, we're we're on budget. So unless something happens, well, there's nothing there. So there's no, you know, I know there's a push for more players. Uh, we all want that. Every manager wants that. Every owner wants that. Every, you know, Les wants that. Everyone's working away. It's not a case of not having targets. It's a case of making sure that we're inside the, the profit and sustainability rules. That's really important to QPR, you know, in the future moving. We've seen what's happened to one or two other clubs and we mustn't go there. If something moves for one or two of ours, whether it be on loan or, or on a permanent, then obviously we'll have something to play with. We are speaking to one or two players, so I'm not saying no one to come in. I just and I don't want to dampen expectation. I just want to put a little bit of reality around it, and I'd like everybody to really get behind the players that we've got inside. You know, this is we managed to keep. We didn't sell any of our key players this summer. They're all still here. What we did do is we. We, we we made the squad a little bit thinner and we made it younger and some more sustainable for the future. And I think that was a decision made long before I arrived. And it's something that I've arrived into and I'm actively front and centre and managing. That's fine. It's just I want to make sure that that message is clear outwards, you know, um, that we are looking, but there might have to be one or two other things that happen as well because the people that are, are, are running the club are running it sensibly. That's what the fans have to be aware of, um, that we're running the club in a way to make it um, fall in line with the, the the profit and sustainability rules. Just listen, like it, it, you know where we are as a club. If someone was to come in from the Premier League with big money, I think every championship club has to listen at the moment, especially the clubs that haven't got the... Um, the parachute payments but no I'm, we're under no pressure to sell any of our key players and I think the board have protected the key players by maybe letting one or two others contracts run out and move on that were older they've managed to maintain your DNs your Duns Dickies uh, your Sam Fields obviously Johansson Ilias Chris they've all managed to stay inside the club and, and that's that's a huge bit of work there from the board and 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 a, and a vision for the future. I think what by allowing some other contracts to sort of roll out, it's allowed the club to stay in a place where they're they're, they're financially stable. And I think that's that's good management from the owners. And you know, I've got real clarity on that. Um, and it, and it's, it's not for me to shout from the hilltops that we're not doing anything. It's just trying to be realistic and be honest about the situation as well. Like if we can, we will. Um, and I think by the end of the wheel window, we may have done it, but let's not, you know, I, I, I don't, nothing's happening right away, uh, straight away in the next couple of days.